Hello everyone, photographer Andre Designs here with a new retouch video and today we'll be doing a color grading video. As you can see, this is a dress from a company that's called Her Dress Jamaica. I'm going to put the link in the description. And what we're going to do today is just to do some color grading and you know, that's basically it because there's not much to do with this image. I'm sorry guys for not uploading consistently on Fridays. I have a lot of work and it's really taking up a lot of my time. So that's the reason why you haven't got two videos two Fridays ago. All right, so this image was taken with the Sony a7 III. I was shooting at 2.8, as you can see here. My exposure was one over 168 of a second. ISO was at 4000 because it was basically in the night. <laughs> it was um, some minutes to seven in the evening and um, i was using the flash on top of the camera i did not set up a strobe or anything like that so yeah and uh, i was using the 28 to 75 millimeter lens my favorite lens actually all right so if i zoom the image in you'll see that the image has a lot of noise because i was shooting at 4000 but we're going to clean that up so the first thing i'm going to do is to create a new layer because i want to remove any blemish from the model's face i'm going to press j on the keyboard for the uh patch tool and then i'm just going to you know make a circle make a selection and remove all the blemishes the good thing about this image is that she's fully clothed so you know all i have to worry about is just the face there's not much editing this was a maternity uh photo shoot all right so to get rid of some of these uh noise i'm just gonna create a new layer and then i'm gonna go here to filter then we'll come down to noise and there's an option here that says reduce noise, right? I'm gonna click that. And then uh, this is a preview of what the, I believe, let me see, that's before, that's after. Good. So this is a preview of what it would actually look like when you're removing the noise. Let me go to advanced and see what it looks like. Uh, per channel, let me see strength. okay all right um normally you'd come here to remove the noise but for some reason i don't like it's not working like how i expect it to so what you could do is to go over in lightroom and make the adjustment but there is a um plugin that i have you have to buy it actually that i can use to remove um noise from images so going to use this one to remove the noise it works faster so as you can see there the noise is being removed drastically all right so just gonna uh, make some adjustments here you know all right that looks good so that was the before and that's the after so that's pretty fast adjustment good then what I could do I could go to the frequency separation and I could do some frequency separation real quick so I'm going to go down to the low frequency layer, then I come over here to where it says mixer brush because I took my mixer brush out. Mixer brush is now nested on the brush. So once you hold on and brush, you'll see the mixer brush, but I took mine out. For the mixer brush wet, I'm going to put this at 31%. Everything else remains the same. And I'm just going to smooth the skin out. So I'm just going to do up. So using the mixer brush, it will blend the skin. And that's what I'm doing. The good thing about this image is that I will not be printing. So I don't really have to worry much about the noise in the image, but we have less noise than before. So yeah, so I'm done with the frequency separation. So I'm just gonna do go on to color grading now. So I'm gonna create a new layer as you see there. I'm going to crop the image to a 4 to 5 ratio because I would like to upload this to Instagram to get the full size. So 4 to 5 ratio is basically this. Once you go to the crop tool, you'll see 4 to 5 ratio here. Uh, or you can create a 8 by 10 canvas. All right. I'm going to press enter. Good. 
All right. So what I'm going to do now is to go to camera raw because I do my color grading in camera raw. So camera raw. And then I'm just going to press auto. Okay. I don't think I like what auto is doing. So I'm just going to undo that. As a matter of fact, I could go auto and then I could just, sorry, I could just adjust what the auto um, did. So I'm going to do gonna brighten up the image a little bit more with the exposure. I'm going to bring the D haze in. I love D haze actually. Um, the face looks a little bit yellow. So bring out some of the vibrance a little bit. Then I'm going to come down here to where it says collaboration and then under where it says uh, blue primary. I'm going to adjust that. All right, good. And then I'm going to come, I'm going to go back up to where it says color mixer. And because our face looks a bit orange, I'm going to reduce the orange saturation like that. I think that should be good. All right. So I like that more than what I had before. So that's the before and that's the after. So before and after. And I like this. So what else? Curve. Should I play with the curve a little bit? Let me see. All right, I think I like that. That looks good. The sky look, looks a bit dramatic. That looks good. Um, the temperature, I'm gonna bring the temperature up a little bit like that. I don't think I need to do anything else. Let me check out the wait. Mm, effects, no. All right, I'm gonna change this to HSL and I'm gonna try to play with the colors in the rocks. Let me see if it's yellow. All right, so changing the color in the rocks will affect the head crown. So I'm not gonna do that. Mm, detail, I could sharpen the image a little bit and I could reduce noise as well again. So if, you, if you're not able to buy the product that I just used, you can come in camera and reduce the noise as well. You can reduce the color and the noise. All right, good. So that looks good. So as you can see before and after. So the next step now is to add my finishing touch, which is the color in the blue. That's my signature look. And then I could try adding the color lookup. All right, but I'm going to just decrease the color lookup a little bit like that. All right, so for the new image i'm going to pull out a new image and what i should have advised you guys is that you know if you want to keep the same color grading it's best to always save the color grading that you've done on one image so you can actually do it on another all right so i think the i don't think i'll be using the same color grading for Uh, I like this one. All right. So I don't think I'll be using the same color grading because I'm going to use a different image, but I could still use the same one, but I'm not sure. All right. It was actually a very quick shoot. Trust me. It, it was a quick one. Let me see what time it was. It was 537 for this shot, for these shot. I think I like this one. Hmm. Maybe if her head wasn't that far back. Uh, so you have to pay attention to how the, the model is posing or your client is posing because that's very important when you're editing your images or making a selection. I'm going to use this one. I'm going to see if I can put the same color grading that I've done. Um, on the image before so I'm just gonna straighten this still doing the four to five ratio and then I'm gonna go to camera raw and because the last adjustment I did was in camera raw we could still use the same color grading but if you had make any more adjustments in here the last 
edit that you've done would not actually show here so this is the last edit all right wait i have to undo this because i need to create a new layer first and then create a new layer good all right so this is the same color grading that i've used in the previous image i think i can still use it all right so what i'm going to do now is to clean up the model's leg but before i do that i'm going to remove the noise from the image itself so i'm going to come here I think I'm only going to do two of these images. I'm not going to do any more. And then I'm just going to come down here to, oh, right here. Nice. Um, bring this up. All right, good. So I think I'm okay with that amount of noise. Let me see what the setting was for this one. I think it was still 4,000. Oh, this one was 6,400. Okay, all right, so that one was pretty high. All right, so this looks better um, than what it was before. So now I'm gonna come here and do the color grading and the retouching again. So basically it's the same thing I'm, I'll be doing on this image. So I'm gonna stop the video here, guys. So thank you so much for watching. I'm just gonna finish editing these images and stay tuned for another video. Bye-bye.